subscribe. Make sure you like this, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Y'all like my jacket? <laughs> Y'all, I bought this thing like a year and a half ago. This is my first time wearing it. And I saw it in my clothes. I'm like, oh, let me put this off of my video. <laughs> It's not even a jacket, really like a jean prop. You want to bite? Bite? Back, back, back it up. Hey, back, back, back it up. Hey, bite, back. <laughs> so I don't know if y'all have seen this video that's been going around. Um, I'm actually gonna put a clip up here. It's this guy that went viral on TikTok for making mashed potatoes out of potato chips. Yes, Lay's potato chips. Actually, when I saw this, it was pretty clever. The only thing that threw me off in the video was the stuff around the stove. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just, oh, the stuff around the stove. I was just always taught that if you're gonna cook, the kitchen needs to be clean. You know, cleaning up there in the kitchen. So he's making mashed potatoes. He brings the water to a bowl, adds some salt, adds some vinegar, I think. And he um, put the chips in there until it's soft enough to mash up, stir it up, throw some cheese in there, and that was basically it. I've seen other YouTubers do the recipe the same as that way that he did. I'm actually gonna take this up a notch and make these as if I'm making my mashed potatoes from scratch. These are not all the ingredients that I use, however, it's this majority of them. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. My grandma always taught me, you get out what you put in. One more thing before we get started. Did y'all hit the subscribe button? That's, that's all I want to add, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's all I ask. That's it, I'm leaving you alone, I'm leaving you alone. Don't give me no gun, man. You know, you know what I'm gonna do. So y'all, I've already brought this to a boil. I'm not adding no salt, no vinegar. I feel like the salt isn't needed because the chips are already salty enough. That, that should be enough. So, on the video, there isn't any specific measurement that you're supposed to use for this. Where my whisk at? Oh, I got my whisk. And yeah, it's boiling, y'all. It's boiling fast, too. I think I can put some more in there. I don't know. Let me show y'all. It's boiling. I hope I didn't put too much water in there though. I don't know. We gonna see. We gonna see. Boiling, boiling, boiling. I don't even know how long we're supposed to boil for. Maybe until it's soft. They already soft. They're gonna cook pretty fast, so I don't, I don't know. It smells just like potato chips in here. Exactly what it smells like. Whole house smells like chips. We just gonna wait. La 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 la. La la. So what y'all doing? <laughs> what y'all been up to? Like y'all doing? How y'all feeling out there? Y'all don't know how long it's supposed to boil. While we wait, this is everything I'm putting in here. So I'm, I got some butter, some cream cheese, evaporated milk, sour cream, whole milk, accent salt. Everglades seasoning and some black pepper. That's, that's what's going in, going in here. That's enough. Let me go ahead and drain it. I drained it. Oh shoot. That's, that's how it's looking right now. It's looking how it's looking. So it's still a lot of oil and stuff in there though, y'all. Ouch. Got our potatoes. Okay, y'all, so we got the water in here from the chips, and I saw where the guy took a shot of the water, of the potato chip water, so I'm gonna try that. <laughs> Let me get a cup. Let me get a little cup. See what that thing tastes like. So in the video, after the guy drained the water, he tried the potato chip water, so I'm gonna try it. Here you go, right here. Here's the water. Ooh. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> it 
All right, y'all, so I want to give y'all like a closer look. This is how our potatoes look. So uh, first, what I'm going to add is, I'm going to keep this on low. That's the best I could do for it. But now, so usually, like I said, I'm not going to add salt because it's already salty to me. But what I will add, <laughs> We're going to add some little bit of that pretty good. Then we're going to add some cream cheese. Y'all just going with, I don't even know what the measurements are. I'm just going with that thing. Y'all, usually when I make mine from scratch, I usually know the measurements to put in there. But I don't know. I'm just, I'm throwing stuff in there. We're just going by the eye. Going by the eye. Trying to see how it smells. It's still really soupy though. Then we're gonna put some sour cream in there. Add some sour cream. And then we're gonna add <laughs> a little bit of whole milk. I only added a little bit of, milk, of the milk because it's already so soupy. We're we'll gonna add some Everglades seasoning. Y'all, Everglades seasoning is my favorite seasoning to cook in. I'm complete seasoning. A little bit, a little bit. That's enough. Like I said, I'm not adding no salt. I add some pepper though. I add some pepper. Just to make it a little fancy smancy, <laughs> we're gonna add some, some parsley. Cause I usually add parsley in mine too. Oh boy. And we done. <laughs> Oh, wait, I don't know if I should add the butter. I think I should add the butter only because with the butter, it's already canela oil, vegetable oil in the actual potato chips itself. So I wasn't sure if I should add the butter. I guess I'll add a little bit. All right, y'all, that's how it's looking. That's how it's looking. So y'all, we basically done with this thing. I'm gonna give me a bowl, see what's up with it. Come see. Ooh, this is so soupy. I don't know why that look like the look. Look, y'all look, look. 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 It, honestly, it do kind of smell like my mashed potatoes though. Smell good. This how it look. All right. This one's hot. The way I made it, how I said it was salty from the maze, since I added milk and stuff, it's not salty no more. And I was scared to do too much, but I guess I ain't. So let me go ahead and just go all out then. Come on. Never too much, never too much, never too much. I'm gonna add some more butter. Cream cheese. And also, I'm in another bowl because, um, the other one didn't have enough seasoning, so we're gonna, we gonna see what this one's gonna do. Y'all. The texture is gritty because it's impossible to bring all those little chips to, you know, to mash it. But see, This is good. I'm gonna tell y'all why it's so good. 
because how I make my mashed potatoes. If y'all try doing the Lay's mashed potatoes, do it like this, okay? Hmm. This is. <clears throat> Peace.